What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to another video. Um, so today's video, I have a few animals I need to go ahead and feed. And I wanted to just take you guys along that process with me uh, to show you how I prep the food. So I'm going to be prepping food today for the beardy, the tortoise, and the tegu. Um, they all eat, you know, veggies, fruits, you know, different things. So I went to the store, got some things, got a new cutting board, a knife, and everything like that. The whole nine. Um, so we're going we're gonna to be all chefing it up today, so I just wanted to take you guys along with me. And then towards the end of the video, we'll go ahead and feed these guys so you can see them eat the masterpiece that I'm about to create. So stay tuned. Alright everybody, welcome back to the video. I got my spread going. Um, got my veggies um, I got some I just got some blackberries over here um, because I, I try not to give a lot of fruit um, because I know to the tortoise um, and to the beardy it can be somewhat acidic um, and I have days where I only give them grains but I wanted to slip some um, blackberries in there and then for the tego I got some meats right here um, with their bowls so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is start with the veggies for the tortoise and the beardy I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up and get this all taken care of for you. Um, so once I get done with that, um, then I'll come back and show you, you know, what it looks like and everything like that. All right, everybody. So there we have it. Um, so I didn't even actually tell you what I'm actually feeding them. So here I have um, just some dandelion and collard greens. Um, that's like always my go-to for these guys. Um, they seem to love it. Um, so I got those cut up really quick. Um, not too tiny. Um, yeah, probably, yeah, probably should rip that one up, but. I don't like to cut them super small because it seems like it takes them forever to eat it. Um, and then they usually, at least I know the beardy chews fairly, uh, fairly well. If there's a piece too big for the tortoise, um, like this right here, it's way too big. Um, but like I said, dandelion and um, collard greens. Um, so what I'm going to do now eh, just throw a couple uh, blackberries in there. Just a, little, a little added flavor. And this bowl um, probably lasts me a couple days. Um, the beardy, not the beardy, will eat more obviously because she's bigger, and as adults, they should be getting more salads. But um, she still does eat eat her bugs. She eats her superworms and her hornworms and her dubia roaches. The tortoise will probably shred this thing in like a probably like a week if I let her. Um, but needless to say, it won't last me super long. Um, but theirs is very, very simple. Um, not a lot, super, super crazy amount of things go into it. Now the <laughs> the tegu, on the other hand, his is going to be a little work because I got to cut up the raw meat. Um, you know, get everything blended. Um, and so now that we have that one, just give it a good little. A little shaky shake in there. Boom, bam, boom. There it is. So, for the T, 
Kegu, and I'm actually, so what I like to do is I don't necessarily clean. I always do um, the vegetables first because obviously it's not raw meat. Um, but what I'll do is I'll do the vegetables first. That way I still have, you know, little pieces of veggies in there and it gets mixed in with his food because Tegu's like the vegetables. However, they don't always eat them. Um, so if it's small like this and it gets smeared on the meat, it does fine. Um, and then obviously when I get done, then I wash it off. So that's why I still have the remnants. And he's basically eating the same thing. He's going to get some um, blackberries and he's going to get some veggies. But So for him, I have um, chicken breast. And then I got some um, ground turkey down here. Um, I actually got some of the chicken breast already in the container. Um, so what I'm going to do is finish cutting it up and then I'll mix in everything and then I got two eggs um, and then we'll throw that in there as well. And then for him I make little, um, just little packs so every day I can just take out a pack and I, pro I proportion it so um, it fits in this here bowl. So that's what we're going to do. So let me actually... So I got some of these already that I already had out um, because I had to feed the caiman and I had to, I started cutting it up already and I was like, you know what, let me make a video out of this. Um, since I know a lot of you guys were asking, um, you know, my daily routine, and this isn't quite a daily routine video, um, but it's kind of, you know, I guess a day in the life sort of one day because um, this is nowhere near the amount of work that I normally have to do but it's kind of um, you know just a little piece of what I get to go through um, I know I show a lot of the animals but I guess I need to start gravitating more so towards um, you know how I prep certain things and getting ready for them so um, that's what I want to get better at for you guys um, and then for those of you guys that commented on my video um, hopefully you guys enjoy this because um, I know a lot of you ask for feeding videos and I know a lot of you ask for snake feeding videos but like I said I have more than just snakes I don't want to just be known for just snakes because I have more than snakes um, and if you guys hear me kind of grit my teeth a little bit it's because I hate the noise that this knife is making against this cutting board it is driving me crazy so bear with me but um, cut it like butter, baby. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, I want to kind of you know get in the habit of showing you guys more behind the scenes things of what I've actually what I actually go through, um, especially taking care of so many reptiles. And guys, I do this all alone. I don't have any help. Um, I mean, you know, with the occasional if like I go out of town, my brother or maybe my sister will come over, or one of my sisters or. Um, they'll come over and you know turn out lights for me or let the dog out you know things of that nature but as far as daily care with the reptiles all me baby but not to complain I enjoy it um, you know I literally have a mini zoo here so it's all in fun and all in a good day's work so I try not to cut my finger here so I cut him in nice little chunklets um, that he can grip easy and then now this I won't even really have to cut up I just flick that in there get that paper out so I flick that in there, throw that in lay trash. Um, now for him, I don't necessarily have to cut up these guys, but I still do it anyway. Just that's just me, people. So don't think if you have a tegu, um, for one, this isn't like the only thing they'll eat. This is just one thing that I'm feeding them this week. Um, everything I'm doing in this video is not necessarily it's not the only way to do it I'm no expert this is just what I've done so far talking to the breeder and this is you know what works for me so I don't want anybody to think that you know this is the only way or why didn't you feed this don't eat this too I'm very aware of what they eat um, which is why I have one because I've done my research however this is what I've chosen to feed them on this particular day this is what I've chosen to prepare so just you know sit back enjoy the video um so 
Now, I got a little handy dandy, handy dandy glove because it's gonna get yucky. It's gonna get a little nasty. So, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna mix this all up. Mix it all up. So, it looks all gunky, so what I'll do now is where these bad boys come in handy. He loves his eggs. And I actually crunch up the shell because it is added calcium and I put it in there as well. The whole thing, baby, the whole thing. Um, the reason I do it this way is because I have given him an egg still intact and he made so much of a mess um, and I want to avoid that. So this is the route that we are going here at DW Exotics. Um, like I said, I know there's multiple ways kind of controversy around if tegu should be given raw egg or you know if you should cook the egg me i'm doing raw egg all day and then i just mix it up mix it up mix it up try to get it really mushy and wet and you know moist and ugh, i don't know why i hate that word um anyway try to get it real you know gunky like And this, this is basically what it's gonna look like. Usually I'll have like um, strawberries or something like that. He loves strawberries, but like I said, he's still somewhat young, so I'm trying to get him habituated to different things. Um, and you know, just don't want him to get used to just eating one particular thing and I get tired of it. So this is to, in addition, this is this is the daily, this is the staple what I'm feeding my Tegu. Um, I, he gets whole prey every now and then. Um, so yeah. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is bag all this up, wash my bowls. Well, that's not a bowl, but wash my bowls, wash my cutting board, my knife and everything, get this all cleaned up. And then I'll come right back to you guys and we'll go ahead and get these guys all fed up so you guys can see how they enjoy it what they rate me you know chef boy rdw exotics over here so you know we'll see and we'll go from there all right everybody and we're back so we're about to go ahead and feed the tortoise i decided to go ahead and let her come out and put the finishing touches on there just a little bit of uh a little bit of calcium, of course. You gotta make sure you supplement. So now, let me go ahead and grab her for you guys.
just to kind of help him get habituated to me, but also get used to me being in his enclosure and my hands moving around. But as of now, um, he just has a very strong feeding response. He's not defensive at all. Uh, once he's out, he's fine. He just thinks he's being fed all the time. So we shall see. And there he is, my little uh, psycho guy. This is Nipsey, my powder blue tegu. Um, as you can see, as soon as I even try to get near the front of the cage, dude is going nuts. Um, I've been trying to get him to get him used to like walking onto the floor to get his food, but he wants nothing but my, my toes and my fingers. Um, so I've been having to um, glove up for him. Luckily I do because when he bites, he does not like to let go and I, I'd like to keep my fingers and my toes. Um, so I've been having to kind of um, just go really slow with him. Um, let's see. Go really slow with him because um, Dude's no joke. So over here getting a little, little drink of water currently. But as you can tell, I'll just put my hand up here. It's like I'm opening the cage and you can see he's already turning around. Like, what, what are you doing, dude? He sees my hand. He wants it. There he goes. So like I can't, can't even get the door open. Um, and when I first got him, I started him off in a 40 breeder. And he did better. I mean, he was defensive, but he wasn't this bad now. It's to the point where I can't even open this door without him shooting out. So that's been, that's been really fun. So what I'm probably gonna do is end up putting his um, tray of food in there with him, um, letting him eat, and then hopefully we can get some footage and go from there. All right, everybody. So I'm sitting on the floor watching the Tegu eat. Um, I hope you liked the little bit of footage that I did get. Like I said, he's still a work in progress as far as um, handling, getting him socialized. Um, he's he's just going through that really territorial, um, like I said, I wouldn't call him defensive, um, but he, he does have a pretty strong feeding response. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's expected. Um, you know, with big lizards, they have moments like that. So it's not like I didn't know what I was getting myself into. It's just gonna take a little more time. Um, I've had tegus before and I've never had one this adamant about being territorial so just gonna take a little more work a little more time and that's okay um, but nonetheless um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I had fun you know chefing it up with you guys cooking something for the reptiles um, they enjoyed it it looks like um, so hope you guys uh, make sure you hit that notification bell subscribe to the channel drop a comment um, I got a bunch of videos coming out um, you guys you know brought some good ideas to me on my last video in the comments so i have taken all of that into consideration as i said in my last video um but need, nonetheless well, um make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell stay clean stay healthy stay exotic <laughs>